switch gears a little bit um, and we're going to look at the Apple television. And the way we're going to do this is, see if I can show you here, my Apple TV can be controlled by this application called the remote on the iPhone. One thing you'll notice is that, and, and here's a little techno babble, but we now have 1080p, which makes the i t or the Apple TV viable before it looked like, uh, well, looked terrible on my television. So now that we have 1080p, it actually looks, uh, you know, reasonable. The average person is going to be just fine with that. I don't have a super phenomenal television, and 1080p is going to be just fine. So um, basically, we're gonna we're gonna stream a little content here off of Netflix. Let's give you an idea of what that looks like. The sound is is perfect. Deep inside each one of us. So I'm I'm very fond of that. Um, overalls and products. Now. As you can see, we get a QWERTY keyboard on our on our iPhone. So if we want to look something up, like the Office, we can do that. On some of the movies, when you manually click to them, you can add them to your Netflix queue if you still go that route. Actually, get it on DVD. I anticipate later on that there will be some more um, applications, but for now I would like, you know, we don't have this, but I'd like to see an app store. I would love to uh, use, let's say, Rhapsody, for instance. Uh, they did include a radio station, so for the now that's good. To kind of recap on our product solidarity, I'm going to now grab the iPad. Alright, if you click and I had to Google this because, you know, Apple sometimes is so simple, it's complicated. Um, but if you double click and you see your little, you scroll to the left and you get your, I guess your remote control there, you can hit this button and you can stream out to your Apple TV and you can turn your mirroring on. So. So now what you have is a delivery system for apps and content that are not available on the Apple TV. But as you can see, it is framed in and I don't know if that's because the resolution of the iPad is much higher than 1920 by 1080, um, but I would like to see some sort of aspect ratio that would allow me to at least stretch it to fit my whole screen. If it were to do that, then I would have a web TV. I could, you know, go to any sort of app that I wanted, like NBC.com, and I could watch movies from that app. So, I don't know if there's a fix for this that I'm not aware of, or if Apple's going to address this later, but that's the one thing on my wish list right now that comes to mind that would make the product pretty much brilliant on every level. Now let's go ahead and switch back to the Apple TV and talk more about uh, its features. Let me just turn our mirroring off. You can actually set up a home sharing network and you can stream your music and movies from your desktop computer. All the movies that I put in that I had um, the digital editions of, it put them under unknown genre. And I noticed it takes a little bit to start queuing it up, but once it starts it doesn't seem to skip. Um, so I think the streaming looks like it's pretty much uh, up to par. And of course you can re-encode to whatever 
resolutions you want. So if you wanted it to be smaller for your iPad, you could do that. Um, or if you didn't want it to take up as much space on your computer. get back to this product solidarity idea your movie is of course compatible on all your devices which is neat so you know here's that same movie if you want it to be on the go You know, you have your iCloud, so there's the photo stream. If you want to look at your photos, make some a screensaver. There's a funny one. We made an iPhone ice cream sandwich. So, I haven't subscribed yet, but if you like your sports um, shows, you can grab the NHL Network and things like that. Uh, 80 bucks a year. Might be cheaper than uh, cable television if you don't want to have a special package. Uh, there's the mobile me. Mine's broken um, because I actually had a dot .Mac account way back when, and they're kind of sorting that out. So I can't show you that. With the home sharing is that if you have a lot of photos, uh, say more than the 16, 32, or 64 gigs worth, and you want to share them from your computer, uh, when you enable that in iTunes, you can then share your photos as well that way. And as you can see, I've kind of got the same photos in my... I, my iStream or what is it iCloud photos as well as my shared photos but if you had more than that you could go ahead and share them out